Flynn Investment Real Estate Professional. A South Okanagan woman is back home for Christmas break after a grueling year in race car driving. The course, called Race 101, is meant to help the Summerland race car drivers succeed on and off the track. Eric Zito explains. I'm, I'm I can't right even now, go left. Right now I'm just thinking I'm glad I don't ride in a race car with you. It doesn't matter where, when, or how, Sarah Cornett Ching will find a way to incorporate racing into her life. It's off-season now, but as soon as the snow melts... Start your engine! She'll be back on the track. The 21-year-old recently completed her most successful racing season yet, finishing 8th in Canada's National NASCAR Series and 4th in the West Coast Sportsman Series. This got her Rookie of the Year and Most Improved Driver. Currently, she's enrolled in the racing school called Racing 101. It's where she could get her next big shot. If she's selected among her classmates, she'll be racing in one of the top circuits in the U.S. next year. But one of the biggest highlights this season, getting to test out the Hickory Motor Speedway, the birthplace of NASCAR. We did get to go to Hickory Motor Speedway yeah. in North Carolina, which was the one driving component, and that was amazing. I mean, to say this year we got to run in Canada's National NASCAR Series and run at Hickory is it was pretty amazing. I never thought we'd be there. These ones here, this is my West Coast Sportsman Series third place trophy. That was my first podium finish that I got there. Racing is in Cornet Ching's blood. From the moment she could walk, she wanted to be behind the wheel. Everything she's learned, she's learned from a former racer, her dad. My dad raced since I was one, so really I was just brought up in, in racing. I was at the racetrack. Every time he raced, I would be there. And I, I think since I was like seven or eight I wanted to crew on the car but my mom was always like no it's too dangerous to be at the track the cars and all that she just followed along we did our thing she'd come out to every race and she used to crew and, and when we when I was running the touring series uh, she sort of had a name for herself they called her little crew chief because I'd get in the car and she'd hook up all my safety gear like she'd make sure everybody was out of the way she'd hook up my hands device and and so they called her the little crew chief. Now it's Sarah's turn to outshine dad. Her solid finishes this season have put her into a class of her own. We always put our heart and soul, everything into the cars and to be able to get wins and contend for wins every race day and win these awards, it's all, it's really gratifying. But there are obstacles Cornet Ching has to clear before getting to the U.S. NASCAR circuit. Being a woman in a male-dominated sport means always having to show that you belong. It's something Cornet Ching doesn't shy away from. I've met a few people that are resistant to it at first and then once they come out and see what we're doing, they come to the track and they watch and they're like, Oh, she's not that bad, you know, like she's right up there. So they can't, once you prove yourself, they can't keep, you know, bringing you down. There's also the challenge of getting sponsorship money. NASCAR racers routinely need hundreds of thousands of dollars just to race every year. So far, she's managed to place well on a shoestring budget. But once she gets the big sponsor, she'll be well on her way because she's already shown she has the chops to compete with the big guns. In Summerland, Eric Sito, CHBC News. Cornette Ching says if she can get enough sponsorship money, it will allow her to run a limited schedule in the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series next year. Well, he has many stops and a big trip ahead of him, so where exactly is St. Nick? Thanks to some